Hello, uh, I want to showcase today a small Esvo trekkers tent, a lightweight tent. Companies such as Esvo, Erdmann Schmidt, Carl Denning, Slee um, often specialise in making uh, very lightweight canvas tents, usually a little bit smaller than the bigger pyramids. This one is perhaps a little more unusual in the fact that it uh, very much mirrors the shape, maybe not quite the size of a normal pyramid tent. Uh, and the next uh, next few minutes we're going to have a little look around this. Um, to start with, I'm going to go to the uh, to the door. We're going to go inside. We're going to have a look, and then we're going to take a little wander around and uh, get an idea of what this is like. And we're also going to do a canvas comparison okay so first of all the first feature is we lift the front flap and we've got a nice gauze on the front keep out the nasty mozzies okay let's go inside okay so the front door is up and as we go inside we are greeted with an inner tent There is room in there for a double air bed. This really is a two person tent in this form. If you leave the inner out and use it as a bivouac, you would get quite a lot of people in here and it'd be suitable for a, a good overnighter. But if you wanted to do any proper camping, really this is two. You might get a third in there if it's a small child or a small dog. Um, it doesn't have a, uh, a sewn-in ground sheet in the front area. It is a bivouac style tent, but it does come with its own standard issued fit-in PVC. Again, it's a nice, lightweight, but very high quality PVC. These poles are interesting. These Esvo poles, they actually interlock. Uh, so the fatter at the bottom, and it goes thinner and thinner and thinner towards the top. Very clever design, very, very lightweight, but still bloody strong. Okay, let's go out and have a little look around now. We've got a second door there. You can see two zips at the side. We're going to open that up in a minute and have a little look. Wandering around, we've got that nice classic Dutch pyramid tent look. Very, very low hugging back to the ground. So there's not much wind going to get through. A uh, closer look at the canvas. Cleanliness is excellent. What we've got here is a little bit of bird poop and there's another little bit down there. This will be nice and easy to wash out, which I'll do shortly. Apart from that, this canvas is absolutely beautifully clean. Love the attention to detail. Look at the the engineering, the way it's sewn up. These Dutch manufacturers, they really do know how to do it. Lovely canvas tabs. Of course on the inside, all the seams are banded with more cotton canvas, very nice. The main thing is, you can't really pick this up on a video very much. That is quite a thin eight canvas. I'm gonna compare that, this is the tent bag of a Randstad. It's a thicker, slightly coarser material. This is very, it's very, very fine, very smooth, very lightweight, very lightweight. Um, if Randstad or DeWard or even big Esvo canvas is 320 and 340 gram weight, I'd have this down to 100, 150 very very fine very fine weave so that's very thin it's actually quite strong and um, like its big brothers very waterproof okay so let's put this second door up and have a look, look at it in a different layout okay so another nice feature of this is the fact that you can leave the front door down and open up this side door if you want you can see the inner the inner, the inner tent in there what this gives you is a nice big seating area. 
you'd comfortably get a couple of chairs and a small table in there and as you can see there's quite a lot of storage space of course as I've said if you leave the inner tent out and see down the side of it into the back area you get quite a sizable space really as big as your average standard sized uh, small three to four berth pyramid tent and if you wanted to as an overnight bivouac you'd get four or five air beds in there easily so if you're trucking down through France or Spain to go off somewhere you want an overnighter this would be perfect for that equally if you want to do some serious camping and there's two or three of you again this is a very very nice tent these um these lightweight trucker's tents that they produce are aimed at the uh, cyclists and motorcyclists and they're particularly good for that uh, they call them trekkers for walkers i don't think you go walking with this tent um, but equally uh, packed away the weight of this thing is probably only around 10 kilos it's really really not heavy at all and it packs away quite small um, it would go into a rucksack if you wanted to if you want a little bit of luxury camping uh, when you're cycling around or biking or motorbiking around you might quite like this in fact you know what I think you'd even get a small bike in there not a Harley <laughs> but uh, something smaller okay thank you very much this will be going onto my Facebook page where you'll be able to have a look at this video and some of the still photographs as well thank you Thank you.